It's James Steinhubel on the Holy Handmade Channel, TVU, with your host, Vanessa Antonia. How are you doing, Vanessa? Thanks, how are you? Very well, thank you. What's up today? So today on our uh, Artisan Forum, we have Calvin with Dear Dog Treats, and we have Jillian with Jillian Violet Creative. That's excellent. Well, let's take some time and uh, get to know these vendors and just uh, introduce yourself and a little bit about your business. And we'll start with you, Calvin. Hello, I'm Calvin Allers, co-owner, co-operator of uh, Deer Dog Treats. We're a, based, a locally sourced company here based in uh, Fort Saskatchewan, a little bit northeast of the city. We use all locally sourced uh, bones, beef, organ meat to uh, bring you slow smoke treats for your dogs that you can find at your local shops. Uh, your farmer's markets, and those trade shows once they're back up and operating again. And we are a preservative-free company, so there's nothing in there that's not good for your dogs. That's excellent. And yourself, Jill? Yeah, so my name's Jill, and I am the one person, the one and only behind uh, Jilly and Violet Creative. And uh, my products typically revolve around my love of glitter and creating. So um, almost everything you're going to see here has got a vast amount of glitter in it. Um, my motto is that there's never enough and I'm really looking forward to showing everybody what I have in store today. That's excellent. And let's, uh, let's do that. I'm just a little bit behind the scenes. I'm just going to pull up the uh, websites just because everybody now has such fancy data driven websites and it takes a second for them to uh, load in this time of, uh, of heavy, uh, bandwidth so we're just trying to pull up uh your dog treats i'm getting some connection jill how do you find it uh how do you clean up glitter i don't ever use glitter because <laughs> once you spill it it's everywhere for life you need to understand that you will never clean up glitter it is now a part of your life um but in reality um yeah, that, it's usually a Dyson and a little bit of leftover glitter, no matter where you go. Okay, okay, yeah. we're lo we're loading we're loading up. You've got a um, you got a really interesting stir. It's got a lot of a lot of a lot of push to it. See if I can pull it down. I'm going to share the screen, and if it goes too white, no, it's popping up now. Okay, I'm going to share your screen, and when you can see it, uh, Calvin, let's just uh, just tell me uh, tell me what we're looking at here. We're just waiting. I can't see anything yet. Should be there. All right, there you can see our introduction there. Yes. Uh, first off the bat, there you got our you, can, you got our locations. Okay. So we are located in around twenty six location spots around Alberta. Nice. Nice. And when you say so you locations, see a bit of our, these are, these are uh, retail other retailers that you have your product in. Yep. Some uh, doggy daycare uh, training centers. Okay. Um, some pet shops, some grocery stores, um, the odd uh, groomer. You can so see some of our your, products there as well. Here's your products. So yes, this there's is, our uh, this chicken is shoes in the top left there. Mm -hmm. So chicken feet is basically what they are. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of collagen in the chicken foot, which we know is really good for ourselves as humans. It's really good for your dog's joints as well. And the tight skin, the smoked skin there, the tight little bones, as they chew those up, it helps to pop plaque out between their teeth. So less plaque in your mouth, we know, also helps out with better breath. So it's kind of the triple threat there. You've got the joints with the collagen. You've got the cleaner teeth, which in turn helps out with the breath. So that's actually, you know, people kind of hum and haul over a chicken foot. But once they try it out with their dogs, that's probably one of our best sellers, actually. Yes. Or to the right of that. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I said, it's so interesting. And uh, just w my initial uh, uh, question is, um, how do you, how do you keep these? Are the, are these in the, in the, in the cupboard or they in the fridge, they in the freezer? What, what do you do here? So they, so they do come in a package in a bag. Yeah. So they kind of come, they come in a package like this. Yeah. So once you, because we are a preservative free company, once yeah. you do open your package, you need to keep it in the fridge or the freezer. The fridge or freezer. Okay. At the moment, there's an oxygen eater in there, so it turns the air into an inert gas so nothing can grow. Yeah. So, yeah, fridge or the freezer. With our bone products, we recommend in the freezer, throw it in a plastic bag, throw it in the freezer, and uh, then she's, 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 good till the, she's good till you're finished with them. We have a 100% money-back guarantee. Something were to ever go off or something because they are a fresh product, we just uh, trade it out or give you your money back. We stand okay. behind our products with our customers. Now the treat's designed to be, um, like, completely edible so there's nothing to toss out at the end like they can eat the, the bone right down to nothing so 
So bones are bones. So depending on depending on your dog and depending on on how their what their behavior is. For example, our, our meaty beef bones are ribs. Ribs are a bit more of a weaker bone in the body. That's why human beings often break them. When they get down to a, a small enough point where your dog could swallow them or something, you take them away. Yeah. Like any treat or anything or any toy with your dog, if you see something that you don't like, you take it away. That being said, we have big husky wolfhounds at the shop and uh, they pretty much just annihilate the ribs. They annihilate the, the big bones. The treats are gone right away. You can see our third treat there is marrow medallions. So those are the cross section of the big marrow bones. So those, they will lick out the marrow, chew on them, get the meaty stuff off, and eventually they will turn to almost like a white color and you would take that away. Be careful in the yard. You don't want the lawnmower going over those ones. I, yeah, I was going to say I, it earlier you're saying that you, you, know, you manufacture in the country. and I was going to wonder if the, uh, the coyotes are coming by, but when you described the big boys that you got on the property, I think they... <laughs> we do. We have a lot of magpies and we do have a fox. <laughs> There's a fox that comes around. Yeah, we see him once in a while. So it's kind of neat. But uh, And there's coyotes too, but they don't really like the big, uh, the husky wolf. No, 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 no. That's, that's too, that's too re reminiscent of another kind we of sure they, Our huskies sure love our treats. <laughs> so that's, that's for sure. Awesome. Let's take a look at, uh, at your uh, Facebook here, uh, uh, Jillian, and tell us what we're seeing here. Are you there? Oh, wow. Or you're, you're, you need your ear. You need your ears. Your mic. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll clip. I'll clip that little bit for you. Okay. We're, All good. We're uh, we're on your, your we're on your Facebook here, Jillian. Tell us what we're seeing. All right. So I have been busy taking advantage of the time that uh, I've been at home to spend more time making some more glitter related items. So lately, I've been restocking. So what you're seeing here is some glitter dipped wine glasses, which are all hand washable. There's no glitter transfer. Um, they're just good old wine glasses. So why not have a glass of wine with a little extra sparkle in it or to it? Um, I've got glitter phone grips. So these are really popular, especially among teens. They, yeah, they go to the back of the phone and they just help you hold on to your phone, especially as phones are getting a little bit bigger. Well, so it's just a little extension that of that, personality. That be on your photos? So will that be on your photos? I'm going to show you guys in a little bit. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay sorry. <laughs> Telling me about things. Hey, I don't want to see them. So, uh, <laughs> okay. Here's, this is maybe a little better. Okay. Yeah. So I have also on there, uh, just kind of started posting some of my personal projects. So some of my personal projects, which I'm hoping to eventually bring to my events, such as Holy Handmade and, uh, and this little piece of Laramar that uh, I'd set in silver for my own uh, Mother's Day gift. So um, I said, it's just kind of one of those works in progress and taking advantage of the time that uh, I do have available. Um, I also so I've been making uh, geode inspired resin coasters and of course my really popular tumblers which uh, are available for customization. So all of those are sealed in a nice glossy epoxy. Again, nothing's going to come off. There's no transfer. Um, they're still nice and durable. They're vacuum insulated. Um, so they're going to keep your hot drinks hot for about eight hours and your cold drinks cold for about 12 to 24 hours. Um, I've got three different sizes that I try to carry, nine ounce, uh, 20 ounce, which is about the standard size uh, travel tumbler. And then I have something called the tall skinny tumblers, which are also 20 ounces, but just tall and skinny. I hear you. I hear you. Okay, let's, uh, let's jump out of the screen share and let's, let's go into the product round here in Cal Calvin. Uh, we're, first, we'll have to have you uh, with your mic on. Oh, there you go. <laughs> gotcha. And uh, product, let's take a look. You showed us a little bit, but let's see what you got. Let's see this. All right. I'll probably start with uh, one of our uh, signature dishes here. This is our entrail mix. A little bit of a pun there with the, with the, with the organ meat or whatnot. So that is, that is the organ meat from cow, goat, and lamb. Well, what we, we like to encourage people to feed the organ meat to the animals, like Jill was saying earlier, because there is a lot of uh, different vitamins and nutrients in there as well. They're also easy to break up into smaller pieces, so they're good for training, for treating, they're good for the puppies, the old to the young. We also slice this one fairly thin, so an older dog with less teeth could also munch on it, and so could a small dog with smaller teeth. So that's kind of like our all-around go-to, and that's our entrail mix. 
Nice. We also do uh, just a straight beef. That's our meaty bites. So that looks almost the same, but that's just beef. Sometimes we have an option where we will do uh, elk or bison also, because there are a lot of uh, dogs in Alberta that are allergic to beef or chicken. So we try to uh, be accommodative for all the dogs in Alberta or Canada or wherever we get our products out to. So that's our meaty bites. I guess I can show you what that looks like as well. It's just basically a beef jerky. Double A outside round, pretty much the same cuts that any person in, here in Alberta is making their beef jerky out of. So hopefully uh, with, with these shutdowns with these plants, we'll still be able to get our, our jerky out to the dogs. But if not, we have lots of other treats. We also have our chicken shoes. So our chicken shoes are those uh, chicken feet. And dogs like to munch on. It's about like that. So we, we encourage and give our dogs one a day is what we do. And that helps, out, again, with the collagen with the joints and helps out with the cleaning their teeth and their breath. That's interesting. Our marrow medallions are those cross sections of, of a bunch of different kinds of bones. Like there's a $20 bone there. And that's had about 16 hours of smoke. When we're trying to make a smaller product, we put them, our marrow medallions, we put them on the uh, bandsaw there. And we run them through so dogs of all sizes have access to that marrow. Because we know that marrow is good for us, it's good for the dogs as well, and they love it. Once again, just pick them up off the lawn before you hit them with their lawnmower. <laughs> Those are our marrow medallions. Those are $15 bags. Okay. Our beef and our entrails are $10 bags. We have bones that range from 10, 20, 30, 40, depending if we're doing massive bison or smaller beef. And another big seller of ours is our meaty beef bones. So these are basically just ribs with a bit of meat and fat on them left yep. as well. And these are the ones that some people like our big husky wolfhounds at the shop just annihilate them. They crunch them open. As they crunch them open, it's almost like an arrow bar. They get more access to the marrow. If you've got a little puppy, uh, like the pepper that you saw earlier, he'll work it right down until it gets to a little bit. And then we take it away because we don't want him to swallow it. Right. This also helps with cleaning up the teeth as well with the, with the rib bones. And they're one of our best sellers as well. Those are $15 bags as well. That's the one I yeah. had um, for my dog, and he loved it. Oh, they do. They, they, and, and how did you find it when it broke up and stuff? Did you feel comfortable with it? Oh, was, was there dog, yeah. your dog? And I, just, I, I did throw it away when it was a little bit smaller, so I wasn't sure if I was supposed to do that or if I was supposed to keep it um, until he ate the whole thing. Uh, I, but would, I would always if you use your intuition first. Some dogs yeah. swallow anything. And other dogs will chew all the way down, just like people too. Some people wolf their meal down and some people are careful, right? So yeah, you know he, like, he kind of broke it in half a little bit and was eating the inside as well. So it was, yeah, he like, I'm going to have to pick up a couple more. That large bone, I think would take him a couple years to go through, <laughs> but uh, I'll definitely well, some of them the medallions. When we are available, we, you're out of Sure Parks. We are available at Global Pet Food Store in Sure Park as well. So they've been carrying our products for a long time. And we do have a promo there going on as well right now. Buy three bags and you get a free bag of entrail mix. Excellent. Ten dollar value there. That's awesome. Okay, that was great. That was awesome. Great presentation. And Jill, basically just click your mic on and uh let's uh <laughs> let's see what you got. All right. Well, I'm just gonna switch my camera over here and just start showing you guys what I have. Mm -hmm. So up here, I just got a uh, kind of little keychains, and I'll just pull one off here. Um, so I kind of made these with my young daughter in mind. Um, anytime we went to Holy Handmade or she came to visit, she wanted to buy something and uh, I wanted her and my kids like her to have something fun to, to put on them. So um, I've seen these being used as backpack charms uh, for zippers on jackets, uh, keychains, just like they're meant to be. But uh, I thought that they were a lot of fun to use. So I've got my little Mickey Mouse ones, if you can see there, my mama bears, there's the little baby bears, and my little mermaid tails, because who doesn't love a mermaid? And I've got uh, here some of the newest of my creations. It's uh, these are geo inspired uh, resin coasters. So they're nice and hard. They uh, got nice lots of glitter in there. And uh, it uh, takes about, oh boy, about 15 hours a minimum for these ones to actually go through and cure. Mm -hmm. And uh, it goes through custom glitter mixes that I order from all around the world. And believe it or not, there is such thing as bad and good glitter. So um, I know you'd never think of that uh, to begin with. 
Um, moving over here, I have some of my tumblers. So um, some of them have glitter. Some of them are glitter free because of course it's not glitter's not everybody's bag. But uh, I like having those fun sayings on there, like this one here, that uh, life is better at the cabin. We've got ones here, you know, life is better at the lake, and I couldn't agree more. Um, motherhood is a walk in the park. You know, just I like the ones with a little bit of um, fun to them, a little bit of sass to them, or um, there's those ones, and just the ones with designs that don't necessarily uh, have words, but uh, are just pretty in general. I have for here my skinny tumblers. So they hold the same amount as the regular tumbles, tumblers, but uh, they're just tall and skinny. Um, these ones here, they actually do come with a straw. And uh, I use mine for usually my iced coffee and smoothies. I, I feel like this is more of like a, a summer tumbler versus a coffee tumbler. But let's be honest, as long as it's holding what you're drinking, it's going to work just fine. Good. Then could be beer, could be water. <laughs> hey, I am not judging. As long as it works, I am happy. <laughs> and then over here, I just had uh, a few of the earrings, and these are I just make them for fun. I don't uh, bring a lot of them out, but um, it's uh, just kind of fun to make. And you know, I could never have too many pairs. And then lastly, I have my little phone pops over here in a variety of colors, and I can show you how they work. So they uh, start like this. They uh, attach to the back of your phone with a 3M adhesive side. And uh, I've got one attached to a phone here. I'm just gonna show you. So this one's just all black because this is my, uh, my day job phone. And all you have to do is attach it to the back, it pops up and then you just have to do that. And then you have something to hold your phone and it just gives you a little bit more grip as you're looking to, you know, make sure you don't drop your phone. Cause I mean, these days you drop your phone, it's almost catastrophic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Awesome. That's my stuff. That is fantastic. That is fantastic. Well, you know what? I, we saw Marissa come in just a little bit, but she left. So uh, <laughs> we're going to uh, we're going to wrap it up. So that is the uh, Holy Handmade episode number seven. We've had uh, Calvin with uh, Dear Dog Treats and Jill with uh, Jillian Violet. And of course, our uh, wonderful and gracious host, Vanessa Antoniak. Mm -hmm. Bye, guys. See you guys. Bye. Bye. Thanks for having me. Thank you.